What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel for an all new episode of Behind the Brew. I'm super excited for this today. Behind the Brew is by far my favorite segment to produce. If I could do these all the time, I absolutely would because I just, I freaking love it. It's so much fun. I, I really enjoy meeting all these different brewers. And today we are gonna meet with the guys from Samson's. This is gonna be a pretty cool video because you're about to meet some of the most genuine people. I'm telling you, these guys are some of the nicest people that I've worked with in this segment. But before we jump into that, we do have to do our general behind the brew disclaimer. Now, a lot of people ignore the disclaimers. It's actually quite funny because I say this before every video and still somebody ignores it and goes in the comment section and tries to ask for the formula. But these videos are not meant to be a tutorial on making hair product. They are not here to help you make your own product and any questions about brewing, formulas, percentages, anything like that will be ignored by both me and the brand. I mean, basically they're here to tell you about how they made their product, not here to show you how to take their product and make it yourself. I mean, that's, you think that that's self-explanatory, but you know, we do have to say it. Beyond that too, I did want to just quickly mention, we'd had a little bit of technical difficulty when making this video. And, and believe me, you're probably going to hear it for yourself here in a second, but we traveled, you know, about 12 hours or so to make this video. And th I mean, this drives me absolutely insane when it happens. You have no idea how bad this stress me out but like you travel you can organize yourself as best as possible you're there everything looks perfect you get home and you find a problem there is nothing more maddening to me than that and that's exactly what happened here we traveled all the way there and it had to do with one of the microphones on one of the gentlemen you're about to see speaking the microphone attached to his his chest there apparently just decided it wasn't going to work, you know, and, but it looked like it was working when we were filming. That's what the, the weird part is. It, but then I get home and I'm going through all the footage and I see something happen. It was just extremely quiet. And then that led to the next problem that I found, which was our microphone was too close to this very loud light inside the barbershop. And then it was also picking up all the other people that were working. And so it was just a very noisy environment to work with. So I want to just, you know, apologize for that in advance. That's not usually what you guys are used to when you're seeing these. So keep that in mind. It was something that was unavoidable at this point. And I wanted to keep going with this video because again, these are some of the coolest guys that I've met doing this segment. I think Samson's is a fantastic brand. And the story you're about to hear is something that I truly love and you're, and I'm just, I'm fully inspired by it myself. So I'm going to stop talking and let you guys see it. This is my behind the brew with Samson's. Judges 13, five, you will become pregnant and give birth to a son and his hair must never be cut, for he will be dedicated to God as a Nazarite from birth. He will begin to rescue Israel from the Philistines. Judges 13, 24. When her son was born, she named him Samson, and the Lord blessed him as he grew up. I am Adam from Samson's. I handle the marketing and all the business side of the brand. Hi, I'm Jake and I'm the brewing side of Samson's and I'm also the barber so I figure out how it all works. So when we started Samson's, neither of us had gone to school for it. We didn't have any training. We weren't an assistant brewer at a different branch and we really didn't have any friends that thought you could make hair products on your own. Everything as far as developing products and learning how to brew was trial and error on Jake's part. When we started to figure it out, it was a lot of scratching our heads. Um, a lot of my clients <laughs> relentlessly, uh, I mean, I was just pursuing them to try it. Like, hey, what is this? Well, it's actually something that was brewed at home. I mean, they were so, so helpful to me. And Adam was one of those clients. And that's how we actually became friends. It's cool that Jake had 250 different heads that he could try Samson's on all the time. He had thick hair, thin hair, straight hair, curly hair. You could see how the product worked and what worked best for all of them. I realized 
this could really go somewhere once it started to be versatile to those 250 or more clients on a regular basis. And when people weren't feeding me just kind words, it was, this is actually working, you should make this more often. And then it turned into, man, uh, getting someone to label it, getting someone to market it, and that's where Adam came in. So I was a customer for Samson's for three years <clears throat> before Jake and I ever discussed me coming on board. I was a faithful customer, and it had reached the point where it was too good to stay in his basement and in one barber shop. He had a website and was doing a little bit, but Jake, at his very core, is a brewer and a barber. So I had a skill set from e-commerce and social enterprise that we thought would be a good mix for the two of us to get together and build something. So I came on board about a year ago, developing the product, uh, the marketing behind it, and working out the business of it before I came on board full time back in August. Obviously to us, Samson's means a lot because biblically the Christian Bible talks about a man who was one of the main judges when there wasn't a king in place in, in the Jewish community. So Samson was, was one of the guys who was a leader and a judge. God set him apart to be someone, and he told his mother, that he'd be someone who had strength in his hair. And it was almost a no-brainer that we named our business after Samson because we wanted something that had high hold, that had strength. And Samson was the direct reflection in the Bible of someone who had strength in his hair. <laughs> and it was just easy to translate that to the community of Palmet at large and say, hey, we got a product that's strong. We got a product that holds. And the name stands beside it. And now we're gonna show you how we make our product. So first of all, we start off with our brewing process with Candelilla Wax. Candelilla Wax is a hardened wax that burns at a higher temperature. So we put it in first, so at a higher temperature, just to make sure that it boils, well, boils down well. It boils at its hottest, is about 250 degrees. And it's a hardened wax, so once you boil it down and break it into its right state, it becomes somewhat fibrous and hardens. And it's great when it's broken down the right way so that it has a great hold with a very, very minimal sheen. Also, another great thing about Candelilla Wax is that because it boils down at a higher temperature, it's great in hot climates. It is awesome for when you have a hot, humid day and you want to have a high hold, as we claim we have. And beeswax is our next one. Beeswax is pretty awesome because it comes straight from bees. It's completely organic and it comes directly from bees. I don't know how else to explain it other than it's pretty great. It also has a great hold. It has a light sheen and a lot of people tend to stray away from beeswax nowadays because of its color, because of its consistency, and they find it easier to use other waxes. But I wanted to go with something that has worked for such a long time, that has been so consistent through the years, and it's easy to find. And beeswax does that. So now we're on to shea butter. Shea butter is pretty great because it lays a baseline for nourishing your hair and your skin. Shea butter is one of the baseline products for health in your hair. Now we're on to oils. Oils are something that also nourish your, nourish your hair. We use grapeseed, castor oil, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, and that's it. <laughs> so out of all of our oils, my two favorites are avocado oil and grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil generally has less of a sheen than other oils. So I like it because it gets you closer to that matte finish look that you're looking for. Avocado oil is just awesome because it has great nourishing agents to it. They both add great health to your hair, but avocado oil it just feels so soft. Grapeseed oil is great because it, like, as we're looking at the market, the matte finish is what most people are going for. 
and grapeseed generally is the one where most people go to. Because we are a water-based pomade, we need something that mixes our oil and water together. And soy lecithin is what does that. And it is very, very important and very hypersensitive with how we put it in to make sure that there's no separation or and, that, and ultimately that it brings the right sort of stickiness and control to our product as a whole. So next we put in a borax alternative. We put in Olive M1000 because it is a olive derived emulsion and softening ingredient. Olive M1000 is as close to all natural as we could get because we were really focused on getting as natural as possible with our products. Borax, we are not against borax at all, and formerly we used borax in our product. We wanted to find a borax alternative so that we could push our business into a more natural direction. Next up is our scent. This is where I am the most proud of. Whenever we go to shows or go to a barber shop or to a salon, the first thing I want to do is crack that can open and put their face right in the scent because it smells so good. It is a, we use essential oils to, to make our scent and I'm not gonna tell you about it because it's a secret, but we do use essential oils and it is my all time favorite thing. And we use a little scotch of something and a lot of another thing, but I absolutely love what we do with our scent because it is my favorite part of our whole entire product. Our scent has a, hit of citrus and it is a masculine, uh, almost a musk smell. Every time we open the can up, let somebody smell it. It's, wow, that's so masculine. And then they try to guess what's in it. <laughs> and I just sit back and grin because people might be able to get the first one, but I never have anybody get all of them. We're very proud of the fact that our scent is made in-house and we mix it ourselves. That's one of Jake's many skills in the entire process. Then we mix them all together and we get it down to temperature and we go in stages as we bring down the temperature from candelilla wax, which is at the highest temperature of breakdown, to beeswax down to the shea butter, which, and we're dropping temperature at each stage. And then we drop it down to the oil stage and then we're getting really close to the pour stage. And then we add in our water, we add in our Olive M1000, we add in those things, and then we mix it all together like a soup and stir. Then we get down to pour, and that is a team effort. That is a full-fledged team effort, because our office is pretty small. And I, I pour, and he sends it off down the table, and then we send it through, send it through, send it through, until we get all of our cans done. Then we dress our cans up. We put our wonderful logo made by one of my awesome friends Jordan on our Kelly. cans. Jordan Kelly, baby. And he makes a phenomenal logo. He does an excellent job with all of our labeling, all of our product design, from website to everything. He just makes it seamless. So that's how we get our unorthodox water-based balm. We use the, the butters to nourish your hair. We use the waxes for that strong Samson's hold. And we use that specially made, awesome scent, which makes you know that it's Samson's. And that's what we bring to you at shops. That's what we bring to our clients online. And we really appreciate everybody that loves our product. It's awesome. You can find Samson's online at samsonshaircare.com. You can also find us on Amazon Prime in any of our boutiques or barber shops across the Midwest.
right, another episode of Behind the Brew is in the books. I bet a lot of you might have been wondering through that whole thing why Adam was wearing the cape sitting in the barber's chair. I mean, if you weren't wondering, maybe you could just go ahead and pretend you were wondering. So what I'm about to say actually makes some sort of sense. If you were wondering why Adam's wearing the barber cape, it's because we actually have a part two of this video coming out in a, probably the next couple of days. I'm working on it right now. But what that is, is we're actually going to see Jake's barber skills at work. He did a really awesome haircut on Adam. It was a, a super awesome uh, side part and I filmed the entire thing and then actually we did a third video where Jake the barber actually cut my hair as well. And it was the first time I've ever had my hair cut by a barber in my entire life. So all of those videos are going to be coming soon. The first one though Jake cutting Adam's hair is going to be coming here in the next couple of days. So that is kind of part two of this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure you tap that like button for me. Help me show the guys from Samson some love in the comment section down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, you absolutely need to do that as well. It's a big help to me. It really helps me continue to make videos like this when you guys subscribe and share with your friends. All of you guys say I deserve more subs anyway. So, you know, that can only happen when people hit the button. But thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. And thank you once again for stopping by the channel today and checking out this episode of Behind the Brew. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.